So in this session, we'll see how to commit the changes that you have made in your file, which is in your local system. How to commit changes. For that, what you have to do, you have to just use this git command minus m. So how you can commit changes? In the previous video, I have showed you how you can add those changes. Right. So you have to add a new files in the changes or working directory to get a staging area. And you have to use a git add file name. So first, your file, you have changed something in your file then it will move on to the add first you have to add those changes so we saw that how we can add those changes in the previous video if you haven't watched that video then first you watch that video and then come to this video and then the next thing the last thing that we have to do is to make these two changes commit now in this video we have to we will see how we can commit those changes so what is the commit commit it is the record of the change so it is the record of the change that you have made in your file or a repository. We have seen how to commit changes in GitHub account. Uh, I have already made that video. If you haven't watched that video, you can watch that video after this. But using the Git, how you can just commit changes using Git commands. So for that, you have to use this command. This is git commit minus m and your message any kind of message that you want to just save for the later on when you just review all the commits you have made so it would be easy for you to just track this thing oh at this time i've made this kind of change right so let's see how you can commit these changes i'm on my vs code and here i have just created these uh, files and in the previous video i've showed you that i had just added these file to the staging area. I just tell you the status of the files. You can see that these files, these are the two files. This is the modified file and this is the new file. And it says that changes to be committed. Now it says that changes as to uh, to be committed. Like these two files are ready to be committed. Now to commit these changes. First, what I have to do, you have to use the git command. Git commit minus m and you have to write your message like uh, created new python file so i've created a new python file and this is this is the message that i have created and now i press the enter now when i press the enter now it says that two files changed and two insertions create mode main.py and then it says now now you can see that these two things are now been committed, right? So these two things are now committed. And if I just, uh, just just show you the status of these two files, now it says that on our main branch and nothing to commit, working tree clean. But here you can see this says that your branch is ahead of origin main by month one commit. Now, what does that mean? It means that you uh, yeah you have committed the changes right you have just committed the changes but hey this changes is one ahead of the changes you made in your github account what does that mean right on a github if you can see this is my github account and this is the same repository that i have cloned for this project you can see that this is the readme.md file there is no change that has been updated here on the github account there you can see like uh, there is the readme.md and this is the demo repo and all of these things that are previously changed but the recent change that i have made i have created a new file main.py and i have just changed a new line i am making some changes this line i have yes added into the readme.md file these things have not been updated to my github account right so that's why it is saying that your branch is ahead of origin main branch by one commit. If you just refresh your GitHub account, then it will still, there would be no changes updated here. And in order to make changes to your GitHub account and to update your repository on a GitHub account, you have to use the push command. And it says like use git push to publish your local commits. And how we're going to push that command. So you have to just push this, all, all of the changes, all of the code that you have created here. You just have to push all of these changes to your GitHub account. And how you're going to do that? 
वी विल सी इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो